Welcome back. Today's Station Zebra. This is our Heroclix Ten of Swords, or X of Swords. X Ten of Swords. Sealed game number three. My name is Rob, and joining me, as always, is my co-host, my opponent, and my rules guru, Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Rob. <laughs> How are you today? I'm the rules guru right now. You're the rules guru. Well, I, I will take that uh, I will take that title and run with it. Sure, and why don't we run with the scorecard and see right. what's going on in this series? Well, I mean, in a, you know, great news for both of us, we're tied. We're tied. <laughs> uh, but you're winning on crit misses. I, no, we're tied in crit misses. Oh, we're tied misses. in crit misses. That's a two and a two. That is a two and yep. a two. Because, um, yeah, I'm a rules, I, I might be a rules guru, but I can't read the scoreboard that I wrote. Yeah, so. that's fine. But it's a lovely score scoreboard. Thank you. Um, yeah, i got to try to get ahead in those crit misses. That's my goal. Is that your goal? That's my personal goal. It's your personal goal. So your personal goal isn't to win game three. It's to get ahead in crit well, that's misses. that's secondary. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, getting crit misses is number one. Um, and what we usually do here is uh, we open two boosters each, and we build 300 point teams, and we play a game. And that's what we're going to do. And we try to get as many crit misses as possible. <laughs> no, that's just me. And, uh, no, we try to play a game and see who can win. Yep, and Rob's going to open first. Okay. Because this is an odd numbered video, and he's our odd fellow. That's right. I'm the odd man out. And, oh, bl no blue plastic. Um, <laughs> There's no blue plastic <laughs> in this set. I'm going to keep saying that forever. <laughs> but you do I have... I think I got a sword. You got a sword. Okay, I got Storm. I got Gorgon. I got Lockheed. Aw, And Lockheed. that's Roulette. Oh, and this guy, Death. Yeah, Death. It's the black bone of Amduat. Okay, cool. We've seen that before. I think we, yeah, we just played with that in a yeah. previous game. Did you want to look at it, or? Um, well, should we look at death? Sure, why not? Let's take a look at death. Let's look at death. Okay. Well, he's pretty complicated, I think, if I remember correctly. Number 34 in the set, he's got a lot going on here. So he's got the sword bearer trait. His uh, trait is the first children. At the beginning of the game, if your starting force has two or more characters with the horseman keyword, now I don't think that's going to happen. That'll th you, you could probably get that to happen in s in constructed. You never know. Yeah, you never know. It happened to me in a battle royal. So if you get two or more characters with that keyword, this game death has steel energy, but with closer range attacks. If a friendly character named Apocalypse, Annihilation, or Genesis is on your force, modify death's attack and defense plus one. And I feel like we just reviewed this in a previous sealed game, but yeah. When death, uh, the special attack power and death damages an opposing character, with an attack after resolutions, deal that character one unavoidable damage. If that character is not KO'd, immediately heal them one click. Now, I think we did this. I think I just had this the last game. You did or I did. One of us did. But it's been a little while since we, uh, we yeah. did that. So Anyway, so and the black bone of Amduat gives blades, claws, fangs. When this character uses it, the hit target can't use stop for this attack, which is awesome. Yep. That is a great effect. It is a good sword. Okay. It is a good sword. Over okay, to you. Okay, so moving over to me. So if you notice here, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this one's like bouncy. Okay. And this one's not. Okay. So we're going to open the non-bouncy one first. Sounds good. Which happens to be the so front middle. So you think there's something special in the bouncy one. Which is the back middle. Okay. So. Back middle. You heard it here. Okay. I have myself a cipher. Yeah. I have an orcus soldier. I have a magneto. Mm -hmm. um, whose dial just oh fell off. <laughs> oh well. A Cyclops and, oh, that's a super that's rare. That's a special one. That is Abigail Brand. Yep. That is one I think that uh, is quite popular with uh, the kids on the streets. The kids on the street? Yeah, all the hero The kids on the hero click street? Yeah. Uh, is it the right dial on Magneto? Um, check it for me. I'll have to check. This one's it the right looks dial. Correct. Okay. Good stuff. All right, so I'm pretty sure I already have one of him. <laughs> that's so what the matter. inside of a dial looks like. <laughs> they call it an Oreo dial for a reason. They do. Okay, so Abigail Brand, set number 50. She has the sword keyword, uh, X-Men, politician, and soldier. I'm going to start saying sword correctly or people are going to yeah, I know. Yeah, we're going to get stuck saying it that way. Um, protecting the earth for humans and mutants alike. She has leadership traded. When establishing theme teams, characters on your starting force with the X-Men keyword gain the mm -hmm. sword keyword. Oh, so we can make your Vision Prime That's an X-Man. Correct. Okay. Yeah, you can make them all on the same team. Uh, personal teleportation device, phasing teleport when she uses it and moves four squares or less. After resolution, she may make a close attack. And special damage power, I head the Sentient World's Observation and Response Department. Friendly characters within range that can use the X-Men team ability can use the Shield team ability. Mm -hmm. I think that's Shield. Uh, she's got Force Blast, Penetrating Psychic Blast, Toughness, Energy Shield, Deflection, Range, Combat Expert, and Shield. 
She is 40 points, 6 range. She's got that special uh, movement and damage power on her first three clicks. Mm -hmm. And then she moves into the Force Blast and Range Combat Expert. So, Yeah, pretty uh, good for 40 points. Pretty good for 40 points. Yeah, I think like it's a pretty her. good super rare. Absolutely. So she'll hang out here with Death while yeah. you open your next one. Let's do it. Okay. Second booster for me. This one's got a little bit of puffy thing going on, too. Let's see. Yeah. Jocelyn's Maybe theory. Just swollen in the correct. heat or something. Yeah. I'm sure that's it. Yeah. The pressure's too much inside this booster. Okay, so we got, hey, Kate Pride. Mm -hmm. And we got, I think that's Darwin? Or is that, no, that's Sink. Yeah. Um, oh, look, there's a, uh, a non-broken Magneto. So far. And uh, he'll be broken after this game, after you defeat him. Uh, we got Cyclops and uh, Colossus. And so. a tarot card. Ooh, and a tarot card. Let's take a look at tarot card. That is the Knight of Cups. I think I have this one already. White character uses invul invulnerability, reduced damage taken by three instead of two. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. So your rare is Kate Pride. Yeah. Have we looked at her yet? I don't remember. I don't know if we've looked at her in this. I feel like series, we might have looked at her in the unboxing, but yeah, I think so. She's it's a fantastic sculpt. She's the dolphin symbol. With this little pirate uh, version of Kate Pride. Don't call her Kitty anymore. Number 38 in the set, uh, keywords Excalibur, Hellfire Club, Marauders, Quiet Council, X-Men, and Pirate. All right, so this this one generates the token, right? Yeah. The, the Stranded, Stranded mutant. mutant. Yeah. So first trait is the Marauders will get you home. Friendly characters with the Marauders keyword have free if this effect has not been used this turn. And if this character occupies an opposing player's starting area, generate a Stranded Mutant bystander. And that comes into play later on, right? There's a mission point thing. Yeah, so when the when the uh, Stranded Mutant gets, uh, that says here, get to safety, Stranded Mutant bystanders uh, can only be generated by Cape Pride's The Marauders Will Get You Home trait. Free, if Stranded Mutant occupies your starting area, remove it from the game and gain four mission points. So You have to get them all the way across the map, though. Yeah, so you need quite a few of them. You need to get five of them, right? It's a bit strategic-y. Yeah. But anyway, her other trait is phasing teleport and flight. And then she special attack power, uh, Blades Claws Fangs, when she uses it and hits an equipped opposing character after resolutions that character unequips their equipment. Which is handy. That's pretty good. Is the bystander autonomous? It is. Okay, so that's good. So it's not going to eat up your action if you're trying to get yeah. it across. I was hoping it also might be tiny, but it's not. Because tiny, then mm -hmm. somebody could pick it up and carry it. The... Uh, the bystander also has the Marauders will protect you, special defense power, mastermind, but may choose friendly characters with the Marauders keyword regardless of point value. And shape change. And it has shape change. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So that's Kate Pride. Um, I probably won't be using that Marauders thing this game, but, you know, she's a good piece otherwise because she has some leadership. Yep. So. Does she want to hang out with Abigail Brand here? Sure, why not? Let's have her hang out. And let's go on to your booster. Okay, here's my puffy one. Maybe the puffy ones. Well, this one feels like it has something thick inside. Maybe there's like a juggernaut in here or something. Oh, it's got a lot of glue. There we go. <laughs> Our feedback was heard. Yeah. Okay, we have oh. a Jean Grey. There was something a big Colossus, in there. A juggernaut, uh, a cipher, and a tarot who is leaning. Uh, we've looked at juggernaut, I, or uh, apocalypse, I believe. That is Juggernaut. That is, yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. I think I said Juggernaut initially. Then I changed my mind. Um, but he is one of the Danger Room constructs. And he is not giant, even though he looks giant. Yeah. And he's awesome. Yep. It's but I'm cool. pretty sure we've read him, so I we're going to so. pass on. We're going to go build some 300 point teams. Yep. And we'll be back with a game. And we're back, as promised, with some sealed game teams. Yep. So tell me about your team, Rob. Well, um, I'm at 295 points. Um, I've got Death on second starting line. Okay. And he is equipped with the sword. So I believe that makes him 50 points. Okay. Then I've got uh, Cyclops, Storm, Colossus, and Full Dial Magneto. All right. Well, similarly, I also have a Full Dial Magneto. Uh -huh. We fixed his dial. <laughs> he was he went to HeroClix Hospital during the break. Yeah. Uh, I've got Juggernaut. Jean Grey, who is not a Danger Room construct. She just looks like one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cyclops, it's different from yours. That. Abigail Brand and Cypher. 
Is that um, I have the they're common. both commons? Oh, yeah, but Cyclopses are the same. Didn't you say yours had recruiter though? No, that's Magneto. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so same Cyclops, leadershipy Cyclops. Mm -hmm. And we rolled off camera. Yep. Neither of us have theme. Nope. I win the roll. Yeah. With an eight, which included a five. It might have been easy to get theme if Magneto was X Men, but guess what? For some reason, he's not. Yeah, he's not. So we're gonna go that to the Brotherhood version right there. Uh, Krakoan Garden Outdoor. That's correct. And I am going to set up my peeps. And I think this is the release day. Yes, map. this is the release day mm -hmm. map. So we are setting up the peeps. And we're gonna go like that. Okay. All right. I should probably place some objects, Rob. Sure. So, um, you know, garbage can right here next to the pool so that people don't throw things in the pool. Bowling ball. Oh, let's put that here because it's like a lawn bowling area. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put the fire extinguisher, you know, in case of emergency right there. Looks good. And I'm going to put uh, some objects out as well. And there we go. All right, so I'm set up and ready to go. Are you ready for game three? Ready for game three. Are you ready to lose? <laughs> I'm ready to lose. All <laughs> right. I'm Me ready to too. lose if you're ready to win. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, I need to roll some leaderships. Um, Jean Grey has leadership. She failed. Abigail Grand has leadership. She failed. And Cyclops has leadership. He succeeded. Mm -hmm. So that means that this turn. Friendly characters that have the X-Men team ability may use it for free, which yep. is always super awesome on turn one. It's always good on turn one. But if I don't roll it, then I will forget. Yep. Okay, so you've got Mr. Magneto there, right? He's yeah. got a running shot of 10, so 5, with a range of 7. Yep. So can we just count that out for me? Sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To here. Yeah. And that's pro that's got to be your biggest range. Um... I don't think anybody's going to be bigger than that. Right. Death's a close-up person. He is. And Cyclops is on my side, so I'm familiar with that. So S that's the... Storm's got five. Yeah. So that's the target spot. Yeah. Uh, Death does have a range of four, but, okay. you know, he won't be able to get to you <laughs> on turn two, anyway, or my turn one, anyway. Well, now that we know that most likely the best you can do is get to here with your first turn... Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to move my people differently. So I'm going to start with Jean Grey. She can fly. She's going to pick up Abigail Brand. And she's going to come to here. Okay. And then Cyclops is going to come over here. And then Magneto is going to pick up Juggernaut. And they're going to go to here. And then Cypher is going to come along and end up there. Mm, One, two, interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we've got enough movement for that. Um, and that is my turn. Okay. Looks good. Okay, and I've just realized that I made a mistake with my placement. You did? Well, I didn't. I forgot that Death could fly. Oh, so you put him next to Storm? Yeah. Because so Storm can fly? Because Storm can fly. So <laughs> Death is going to fly up to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Does she want to bring Storm? No. Okay. Because we have a plan. Um, and he's got Outwit. One, two, three, four, five to Magneto. He will Outwit Magneto's um, running shot. Okay. You know the range is seven, right? Yeah. Okay. He can just shoot from where he is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Storm is going to um, put her, uh, use Perplex to pump up her speed to a nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to here. And she's got stealth. She has stealth. Yeah. And then Magneto can fly. He's going to carry Colossus. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. Okay. Placing Colossus here in front. And 
and this took way too many actions because of my poor <laughs> starting area placement, but that's how it goes sometimes. Um, Cyclops will come back here. Hmm. Remember, Cyclops can't take a token off Magneto. Oh, that's true. Because they don't share a keyword, and Magneto's more points. So he could only take a token off Storm. Okay. Probably. How many points is Death? 50? Yes. Well, so he's 45, but I paid the 5 for the sword. Yeah, so, so he's, he's 50. 50. Yeah. yeah. So you can only take a token off Storm. Yep. Okay, well, instead of giving uh, Cyclops a token, I am just going to leave him right there in the starting area. All right. So, so I'm pass to you. That's the that's the plan, eh? That's the plan. Okay. Let's do some leadership rolling. So Jean Grey fails. Abigail Brand fails. Cyclops fails. Okay. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be. Alright, four actions, even though the leadership failed. But I have people that can do things. So tricky tricky rob there with his stealth in front of somebody yeah jean has tk mm -hmm. she's gonna tk abigail to here they have range on line of fire on that square okay um then cypher let's see cypher is gonna take a costed move to come here and then Abigail is going to take a move action to phasing teleport to here, which is four squares or less. Mm -hmm. And she's going to make a close attack on Storm. Awesome. With an empower next to her. So she will be an 11 on your 19. On 19. I need an 8. Yep. And that's a 6. Okay. And I have no prob. So it had uh, great intentions. Right. Oh, that was a 5, wasn't it? There was a 5 in that, yes. I do pick up a 5 for Colossus. Okay. Much excited. Um, and let's go ahead and make things extra difficult. Um, so we're going to go ahead with Juggernaut. He's going to take a move action yep. because he has a special movement power, leap climb. When he's given a move action after resolutions, he may make a close attack. So he's going to move. Uh, leap climb means he moves through characters, right? Uh, yes. I believe so. I'm going to verify. Uh, leap climb ignores elevated outdoor blocking. And not characters. Improve movement. Movement through this character can move through squares occupied by or adjacent to opposing characters. Okay. Yep. Still must break away, of course. Okay. Um, well, he's going to go to here. Uh huh. Nice with his leap climb, and then he's going to make a close attack. Uh, and it's a lowercase close, but he can use Quake on that, right? Well, so yeah. Because Quake is passive. Um, Colossus has invulnerability, FYI. And so does Death. Then he will not do that. And plus, isn't he isn't he um, a construct? He can only do one point. Yeah, yeah. but he can still Quake and do one point. Now, he gets an error token from his own attack rolls, right? That's right. Okay. So he's going to make an attack. Let's attack death. Yep. Using his printed values. We won't use quake. Okay. And that's a printed 11. value. Of th so it's a three damage, which will only do him one. Yep. Death. 11 on. Um, death is a 17. So I need a six. Yeah. Should have done this first. The six would have hit. Because that would have hit the other attack. It's an 11. So one point gets through on death. Yep. Okay. And the one would have helped him more than it helped uh, poor Abigail Brand. Absolutely. Um, okay, so that's my four actions. And I will clear Magneto and Cyclops. Uh -huh. I will pass turn to you. Okay, well, I have to roll leadership on uh, Cyclops. I only got a four. So that's not going to do it. All right, so I'm going to bring Cyclops in. All right. Um, he is going to come in on a running shot. And he's got range combat expert. So when he attacks, he will be an 11 for 4. Yep, that's the thing that he will be. Um, 
Storm is going to perplex down Abigail's defense to a 16. Okay. One, two, three, four. Cyclops comes to here. Mm -hmm. 11 on your 16. Okay, you need a five. Actually, he's targeting two targets. He's going to target Sync as well. Cypher. Cypher. Sync, Cypher. It's all the same. <laughs> I don't think it is. He got an eight. Okay, so that'll, that'll hit. That'll hit them both. Yep. However, I really want to get Abigail out. So I'm going to put the four points of damage into Abigail. Okay. It's not penetrating, right? It's not penetrating. I believe she has toughness. Yeah. Now, what's on her damage dial? Is there anything? Uh, it's the... She grants people within range the X-Men team ability shield. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take three. Yep. One, two, three. Okay. Now I have Force Blast, Penetrating Psychic Blast, ESD, and Range Combat Expert. Okay. Sorry, what's the def that's oh it's ESD. It's ESD now, yes. Well, I don't like that, not one bit. Well, you were, the, you were the one that decided <laughs> to do four damage, or I'm gonna have to change up my my action here now. How much? Uh, how many clicks does she have left? Two. She has two clicks left. Okay. So death, I guess, will take a swing. Okay. So she's still gonna be a sixteen, right? Yeah. So but she's gonna be an eight. Well, against. Uh, 16 against close. Yeah, 16 yeah. against close. Um, death will swing. Okay. 10 on uh, your 16. Yep. Crit miss. Crit miss. Yeah, I told you I was going to pull ahead and crit misses. <laughs> crit miss for Rob. <laughs> death might kill himself the way this is going. Amazing. Well, I think it's important that we get Abigail out. I don't know why you're so worried about her. She's just I this little girl with green hair. Like, I what's know. going on? I'm not really worried about her. It's just, uh, I was hoping to get her out so I could move Storm mm -hmm. and then get uh, um, Outwit onto Magneto again. But that's not going to happen. So, I guess Storm's going to take a swing. Okay. That's going to be a 10 on, on a 16. 16. That's an 8. Yep, that'll hit. That's going to be three points of damage. I think you got her. One, two. She is KO'd. Okay. And last action. Now this juggernaut... No, we still have lots of time in this game. It's not the last <laughs> action, Rob. True. Now this juggernaut can only take one point of damage, right? That's right. But you still okay. have to get through as invincible. Right. And that is nasty. Well... Um, I'm going to hold on that for a minute. And let's see. Now, Magneto is in hindering. Mm -hmm. Your Magneto. And he's an 18. 18 and invincible. So, oh, my, my Magneto. Do I want to engage? I'm not sure. Let's put, um, my Magneto is going to go 1, 2, 3 to here. Okay, on a running shot? On a running shot. Actually, he's going to go... Yeah, that's right. He'll go there. And he's going to target Cypher. Okay. And he's a 12 against your 17. Mm -hmm. Needs a 5. That's a 5 exactly. Yep, that's a 5. For 4 penetrating. Okay. Good turn, Rob. And that's 4 action tokens. So I pass over... Actually, you know what? I should have put him here, right? So that he can... Oh, no, because he can't, he he can't, can't take, take a token, token off. off. That's right. Well, that's my turn. Did you want to outwit anything? Um, I should outwit something on this guy, shouldn't mm -hmm. I? He is not protected, so... He's got Quake, he's got Invincible, and he's got the Leap Climb, right? And he actually shouldn't have an action token. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait. No, because you, you gave him a move, right? Right, but it says he's got Brotherhood when this character hits an opposing character with an attack roll of 10 to 12, remove an action token from them. And he hit with an 11. Oh, yeah, that's true. So the token would come off. Good call. Yeah. Well, I'll take away his leap climb. Sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. And it's over to you. So I'm going to roll some leadership. Okay. Leadership on Cyclops. He fails. Leadership on Jean. She succeeds. Not that it matters. Mm -hmm. And my other leadership is dead. Okay. All right. I think we're going to start with uh, Magneto. Yep. He's going to running shot to here mm -hmm. on death. Okay. I'm a 12. On death is in hindering, so he's a oh, 18. 18. So I need a 6. Yep. And that is an 8. 
Yeah. And that is four damage from Magneto penetrating. Yeah, I think you might have got him. One, two, three, four. Death's KO'd. Yay. Good job. Sword drops. Yeah. You outwitted my leap climb, but that's back now. Mm -hmm. Because. Oh, that's true, because he's gone. Yeah. So with leap climb, do I have to break away or do I have automatic yes. break away? No, you still have to break away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to elect just to swing on Colossus. Okay. So, um, it will be an 11 on Colossus's 18. Yep. 18 in vulnerability. 11 on 18. I need a 7. That's an 8. You get a 5. Yep. Okay, pick up a 5, rally, and only, but only one point comes through, correct? That's right, because mm -hmm. he doesn't have any error tokens yet. Okay. And I think uh, we're just going to clear over here. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be my turn. Okay, I'm going to roll leadership for my Cyclops. Hey, it's a one. These dice have gone cold. They're rolling just ones now. I should borrow them. <laughs> you should. All right, so... Um, Storm's going to use the knockback. The force blast? Sorry, yeah, force blast to target Juggernaut. Okay, it's free. It's free. Uh, choose a character um, within range and line of fire. Knock it back three squares. But with Storm, it's any direction. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. Okay, that's probably the normal direction anyway. More or less. Yeah. Um, Storm will then um, use her perplex to put Magneto's defense down one. Okay. So it'll be a 19. It'll be a 17. Or sorry, a 17. <laughs> what I don't am I saying? I don't think you want to buff it. <laughs> I don't want to buff it. I mean, you're welcome to. Um, and then Cyclops will running shot one, two, three, four to here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come here. He will be an 11 for four. Okay. On Magneto. Actually, that's not a direct. No. Nope. He was here, right? One. So that is going to cross this yep. line of hindering, so unfortunately. So he'll be an 18. Dang. So it's going to be a 10 on an 18. Yep. Cyclops needs an 8. He got a 9. Or he 10. He got a 10. Yep. That'll so hit. So 4 damage, but you have Invincible. So I take 2. Okay. All right. And uh, Colossus, he can run, let's see. I think he can run 8. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He pick, it's going to pick up that sword. Okay. And move to there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And he has the sword. Okay. He has the sword in his hands. It is not in equipped. His, in his hands, yep. And then the rest of my people clear. Okay. And that is my turn. All right. I'm going to roll leadership on Cyclops. Okay. He fails. I'm going to roll leadership on Jean Grey. It succeeds, but nothing happens because there's no tokens to remove. Okay. So you have tied up my Magneto there. Yeah. With uh, your Colossus. And I've got four people that can do things. All right, I think I'm going to take a chance here with Mr. Magneto. He's going to break away running shot. Okay. And he fails. So that was the risk I took. Yep, that was a two. It was a two, if you didn't see it on camera there. It's a two. <laughs> um, what do you mean it was a six? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, all right, so for my next action. Um, Wait, he has flight. Is that? No, that doesn't change no. anything. Uh, can you help me with uh, sure. Juggernaut? No, He's going to leap climb to right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six into here. Yep. Okay. And then he's going to make a close attack. And I think Cyclops is the squishier target. Mm, probably. Well, he's got a bigger dial. But he has... Oh, yeah. He's an 18 versus 19 close. Yep. So we'll go with uh, Cyclops. Yep. So 11 on 18. I need a 7. Yep. That's an eight. Okay. Would have hit storm after all. So it's one damage. One damage, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go over here 
So I think you might want to move the camera there, Rob, yep. or go to the overhead. There you go. And uh, Jean is going to take a costed move to TK Cyclops. One, two, three, four, five to here. One, two, three, four, sorry, to there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six is the direct line. So running shot, 11 on Magneto. Okay, I think he's an 18. is an 18, yep. So I need seven. That's an That's eight. An eight. Uh, it'll be four damage. Okay. Less your reducer. One, two. And then I'm going to knock you back. Okay. So it'll be three. Three, one, two, three. Yep. And that's my turn. That is your turn. That's all of the things. Um, leadership on Cyclops. <laughs> These dice are rolling ones a lot. See, you should be running danger rooms. I should. All right, so I think first thing is Storm is going to swing on Juggernaut, I guess. Okay. Um, He's a 18. She's a 10 versus 18. Need an 8. It's a 7. That's a 7. Okay, that didn't work. She will use the free Force Blast. Okay. She'll put him one, two, three here. Okay. Okay, and then... My Magneto will do a running shot. He has a move of five. One, two, three, four, five. Do and you wanted to do something before you did that, Rob? Oh, I did. I'm going to perplex Magneto's defense down. Yep. So, so I'm 17. going to be an 11 on your 17. Yep. Yeah. So I only need a six. I got a nine. Yep. So three points penetrating. But you do have... So I take one. Invuln. One. And I think this turn, I I'm just invincible. going to... Um, I'm just going to equip the sword onto Colossus. Okay. And Cyclops clears. And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to roll leadership on Cyclops. Mm -hmm. He fails. And leadership... On Jean, she succeeds, but there's no tokens to remove. Okay, so Jean is going to take a telekinesis action. And she's going to TK Cyclops to here. They both have range and line of fire on that square. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to running shot uh, to here. Range combat expert on Colossus. So okay. 11... 18. On Colossus is 18. Mm -hmm. I need a 7. That's a crit oh, hit. Oh my gosh. So that'll be uh, 5 damage, because he's ra range combat expert makes him 4. Okay. And then plus 1 makes 5. He's probably going to hit a stop click. He, has, he does have a reducer though, right? Yep. But you got him to a stop. Okay. Because you did, uh, is that five points of damage? Yeah, so he would take three. So three went through. Yeah, he needed two more clicks to get to his stop. Yeah. So that's where he's at. So now he has uh, defend. He has no reducer now. No. Um, but I am out of actions this turn. Kay. Because everybody's token. So uh, Magneto will clear. Mm -hmm. And if you could help me with Juggernaut there. Yep. And he will clear. Okay. And that will be my turn. All right. Um, Cyclops is, uses leadership. And I got another one. Oh my gosh. It's not working out for Cyclops in these uh, leadership roles. You should make a note to use those the next time you're playing Danger Room Constructs. Yeah. So, um, um, Storm's going to use Perplex. I'm going to Perplex down Magneto's defense. Mm -hmm. It'll be a 17. Sure. And uh, I think we got to get out of the uh, hindering here with with uh, Cyclops, right? So we'll put him, we're running shot him to here. Okay. And he will attack. Okay. Magneto. 11 on a 17. 11 on 17. Needs a six. Range combat expert. Okay, there's an 11. Yep. Four damage, unless okay. you reduce her, of course. So take two, one, two. All right, now I'm invulnerable. Okay. I like it. And I have leadership. 
And then Magneto will shoot. Okay. Um, he will also shoot at one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. He'll also target Cyclops. All right. Cyclops is an 18. So I'm 11 against well. a 16 and a 19, 19 actually. Yeah, because of the, the hindering. The hindering. Yep. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, that's going to be an 18. I won't get Cyclops. No, but you will get Magneto. I get Magneto. That's three damage penetrating. One, two, three. You got him. Nice. He is KO'd. And... Hmm. Cyclops is now a sitting duck. Sorry, Colossus. So I'm debating giving Storm... Actually, you can't get to him. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can. You, you could get to him. I can get to anybody on your team. Okay. Well, maybe I'm just going to have to use free Force Blast. Sure. To knock back Juggy. Yeah. Um, one, two, three. Sure. Because I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You still can get to him, can't yep, you? I can. That's not good. Okay. Well, it's a risk I'm going to have to take. Yep. So, I think that's my turn. I think I have to clear... Storm. Storm. Actually, she can do something, right? Mm-hmm. She has a range of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's shoot at Cyclops. Sure. He's, Ranged. An, eight. He's an 18. Ranged attack. Ten on 18. Go only got a seven. Yep. It's worth right. a shot, though. Worth a shot. And then Colossus clears. Yep. Your turn. Okay. Um, leadership on Cyclops, leadership on Jean Grey. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on, hang on. How do we do that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. To there. And we will make a free attack on Colossus. Yep, it's a 19. I'm an 11. I just got to hope you get a bad roll. I need an 8. That's a six. Pick you get a five. five. My peep's clear. Okay. Turn to you. Um, I will do um, leadership. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a one. That's all I'm getting is ones. I can't believe you haven't put those dice in dice jail yet. I know. So uh, what I'm going to do is Cyclops, my Cyclops. Mm hmm will run to, now if I'm, I want to get both of them. He only has one target. Oh, he only has one? I thought he had two. Nope, he only has one. Okay, well, let's go for, let's go for, how many clicks does, does Juggernaut have? Juggernaut has four clicks. Four clicks. And what's he on Oh, right he's now? got five clicks, sorry. He's okay. on click one. Click one. Okay, so. Um, and zero arrow token, error tokens. I think I'm going to shoot on your Cyclops. Okay. I think I'm going to come to here. Yeah, you can so do that. So that I'm not... Hindered. Hindered. And you can potentially leadership, although you're going to clear her next turn. Yeah, I'm going to clear her. All right. But at least, actually, maybe I'll come to here to cut down the angle on Storm. Well, you can't see her anyway. No, she's stealthy. She's stealthed. So, yeah, I'll shoot on him. Okay. Maybe I'll just come to here. Here, mm -hmm. so attacking your side. Actually, she's going to perplex him first. Sure. To a seventeen. Yep. So I will be an eleven on your seventeen. Sure. You need a six. Crit wow! Miss. Look at that. Two crit misses this game. Oh my gosh! Well, you did say that you had a yeah. goal. I don't think you I'm meant it entirely. I think you were joking, but I'm, I'm making a run for it on yep. the yeah. Well, I guess. Um, Colossus on Juggernaut. Colossus, let's do it. 10 on... 18. Crit hit. Crit hit, doesn't matter. He hits nope. a maximum only of takes one. one. That's a waste of a crit hit. Well, yeah. I got a crit hit for the scoreboard. You did. And Storm clears. And I'm adding the crit hit to your scoreboard. And Magneto clears. It is your turn. Okay. Leadership on Cyclops. Leadership on Jean Grey. All right. So... Um, I think we will start with 
Juggy. Mm -hmm. He'll go on Colossus. So 11 on the 19. Yep. I need an 8. That's a 7. Oh, oh, no. That's a 7. Okay. Colossus picks up another rally. Okay. Um, so we take a token there. Uh, then Cyclops will go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep. So it's 11 on 19. Need an 8. That's a 6. Picks up another 5. Not that I'll ever use these 5s. But, you know. Um, I don't know why I'm so, like bound and determined to, to get, get him to get colossus yeah but i guess it's because he's on his last click mm -hmm. uh we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight to here mm -hmm. and that will be my turn okay all right i'm gonna roll leadership for cyclops did not get it but i didn't get a one there you go so Maybe things good. are improving. Things are turning around. Um, okay, Storm's going to perplex up Magneto's attack value Kay. to a 12. He's going to come here. Running shot, two targets, Juggernaut and your Cyclops. Okay, so he'll be a 19 because he's hindered, yep. and this is an 18. You're a 12. 12. That'll be a 19 right there. So that hits them both. So how many clicks... I think Cyclops, Cyclops is, is still pretty deep, right? He's on click one. Oh, wow. Yep, he hasn't been hit yet. Well, I'll put all three into him then. Okay. May as well. One, two, and three. Okay, now he has ESD and range combat expert. Okay. Um, ESD. Nasty. Okay. Um, okay, in that case, um, Colossus is going to swing on Juggernaut. Mm-hmm. That'll miss. Yep. And costed move from Storm. She'll pick They're up this object. Bringing her out of stealth. Yep. Coming right here so that she can uh, swing on uh, Cyclops. And then my Cyclops clears. I'm just going to propose something, Rob. Sure. She could have used her free force blast to move him towards her. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I did it. One, two. You can't get her quite close enough, but... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I, I did it. That's how it works. All right. I forgot. So <laughs> It's your turn. Okay. I'm going to roll some leadership. Yeah. Leadership on Cyclops. Leadership on Gene. Okay. Um, okay. Well... I guess you did that so that I can't uh, target Cyclops with my fancy ranged combat expert, which is now a 12. Mm -hmm. So that's annoying. Yep. However, you did forget one thing. What did I forget? TK. Yeah. So my lovely, lovely assistant here, Jean Grey, will I TK. Did forget about TK. I forgot about a lot of things. Uh, she's going to TK, let's see, one, two, three, four, to here. They both have line on that square. And I will range combat expert 12 on 19. I need a 7. That's a 5. Brutal. Juggy clears. Okay. And I will pass turn to you. Leadership roll from Cyclops. Did not get it. All right. Well, I think I can use my... Um, one, two, three, I can't get you in. One, you can't two. get me what? I was going to use my, f my, uh, storm free force blast. You can't see Jean. She's got stealth. No, but I was going to target Cyclops. Okay. Um, okay. In that case, he's got ESD now and that's not yeah. good. Um, okay. She's got TK. But they're both double tokened right now. Yeah. They do have leadership if they will if it will fire, but it has not fired. Okay. So, I guess I have to decide what I'm going to perplex. Um, I guess I'm going to perplex his defense down. Okay. So he's seventeen. Seventeen. And Magneto will shoot. All right. Eleven on seventeen. 
that will hit. A six. That's now a seven. Sorry, seven. But the one is only that won't add an error token, no. right? He has to roll it. He has to roll it. Yeah. So he takes one. Or what's your printed? Three. Printed three. Okay. So he takes one. Okay. Now he's tough, but he still only takes one. Okay. Um. Cyclops will run to here. Mm -hmm. Running shot. One, two, three, four. He's an eleven on your seventeen. Still. Seventeen tough. He's he's down one, so he's a sixteen. Okay. That's a five. That'll hit, right? Um. Because I'm an eleven. Yep. Sixteen. Okay. And what's your printed? It is uh. Er. Well, it's range combat expert. It's okay. gonna be. It's not a, gonna be four. Okay. So he takes one. Okay. And. Storm will just do a costed move. Her move is eight. One, two. Actually, she might just stay in hiding. Mm -hmm. In the stealth. And we will use free force blast on okay. you. Okay. To move you. One, two, three. Sure. And he clears. Yep. And it's your turn. Leadership on Cyclops. Fails. Leadership on Gene. Fails. So we just have uh, Juggy yep. this turn. Um, however, Juggy has Flurry now, but he doesn't have a move and attack. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think what we're going to do is he's just going to move. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four to here. Mm hmm. Costed move. We clear. Mm -hmm. Does, oh, he doesn't have that special leap climb thing anymore. No, he's on flurry. Okay. Turn to you. I will roll leadership on Cyclops. <laughs> Got another one. Our leaderships are it. horrible. They're horrible. Well, um, Colossus is going to swing. Okay. On Juggernaut. Juggernaut is a 17. And Colossus is a 10. So I need a seven. That's an eight. Yep. For one. Yep. Okay. And I guess we should try to get rid of him with our friend Cyclops. Mm-hmm. Who can run to here. Yep. And shoot. Sure. Eleven on. Seventeen. Oh, I should have perplexed. I'm going to perplex him. Is that all right? Sure. It's going to be a twelve on seventeen. That hits. That hits. He is dead. So Cyclops gets the danger room thing. Oh, right. Gives him a special so thing. So he gets... Um, that character can use invulnerability. Okay. So he gets to use invulnerability. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, mm -hmm. that's my turn. All right. We'll roll the leadership, Cyclops, Gene. Failing them all. Failing them all. Threes and twos. Cyclops gets invulnerability. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Range combat expert with Cyclops. 12 mm -hmm. on 17, or on 19. Mm -hmm. I need a 7. And there we go. You've done it. Finally, I killed him. <laughs> you, got, you got Colossus. He's dead. Good job. Ding dong, he is dead. Uh, I, sh oh, I, I was going to say, I should have running shot him, but I can't. Um... X-Men team ability. Yep. Heal him one click. Mm -hmm. Roll a d6. Does not take damage. Mm -hmm. On a six. That's a power action. Turn to you. Okay. Um, my leadership finally gets it, but I can't even remove a token. Nope. But at least I have free X-Men team ability. Mm -hmm. And I think someone is damaged, is aren't they? Because Cyclops did take a hit. Um, so, Storm will actually use the X-Men team ability. As free? As free to heal Cyclops. Mm -hmm. And then I gotta roll. And she takes the damage. She takes the damage. Okay. And Magneto will do a, oh, she's gonna perplex him to a 12. Okay. So he will go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Running shot, 12 on your 18 Cyclops. Kay. That'll be an 18. Yep, that'll hit. 
for three. Um, One, two, three. And is he damaged at all? I can't remember. He can't be X-Men, but he doesn't. That's true. Yeah, he doesn't have the X-Men team ability. So my Cyclops clears. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Turn to you. All right. Uh, leadership on Cyclops. Leadership on Gene. That worked. Finally. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. All right. Um. And your Cyclops has invulnerability now. Yeah. Which is annoying. All right, so we're going on Magneto, range combat expert. Mm -hmm. Twelve on your nineteen because you're in hindering. Yeah. Twelve and on nineteen. Need I a need seven. seven. That's a seven. Got a seven. It'll be four. It'll be three. Less you're invincible. Okay. So you take one. Take one. He's only a printed two. Yeah. With the uh, the RCE. Okay. Yeah, because you've you've like done yeah. a whole bunch of damage to him. Okay. Okay. Uh, X Men team ability. To heal with Jean, she takes the damage. Okay. Um, what is. Oh, that's barrier. We so focused on our TK, I forgot she had barrier. Pass turn to you. Okay. Um, hmm. I guess we have to try to shoot, even though he has ESD. Yeah, I have to do it. Do you want to perplex first? Um, yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not what I want to do. I want to try to get in there with Storm. She flies, right? Yeah. So I can get in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could get to here. Sure. Okay. She will do that. Now that she's there. Perplexing down. Um, she perplexes. Oh, there was supposed to be a sword that dropped, right? Oh, yeah. When Colossus died. Yep. So the sword was actually... Here. I think so. Mm -hmm. Close enough. <laughs> so now that she's there, she will perplex down Cyclops's yep. defense. Yep. So with the ESD, he is only going to be an 18. That's right. And Magneto will take a shot, Kay. right? 12 and 18. 12 and 18 it needs a 6. Okay, that's an 11. Yep. For 3. Yeah, I think you got him. And then Magneto doesn't take a token for that. Oh, right, because of Brotherhood. Yeah. Good call. See, the rules guru. Okay. Um, and then we got Jean. Try and kill her this turn. Well, she's got. Um, I can't because she's got stealth, right? That's true. So. Well, you can. Oh, yeah. You can I'm just, just going to. Actually, I'm going to move him here because mm -hmm. he has the leadership. He will pick this up on the way. Sure. Because why not, right? Yep. Pick up an object. Your turn. Your turn. Okay. And I guess she will perplex down Jean's yep. defense to 16. Mm -hmm. Storm swings with the object. That's a crit, a crit hit. hit. Hey, yep. look at that. I got two. I got a crit hit this game. Two crit hits, right? No, one. I think I got two. So How far. much damage am I taking? It's going to be five. Okay. She's dead. One. Two, Kay. three. You only needed three. Wow. Good game. I got two crit misses, and I yep. think those are two crit hits that I got. I was keeping track on the counter, so yes, you got two crit hits. That was a... Yep. Uh, it was an epic a game. hefty game. So I made you work for it. Yeah. Um, I think my big mistake early on was bringing Abigail Brand in to try and take out Storm. Yeah. Because it left her vulnerable. I should have put her... Um, I should have left her doing range, because mm -hmm. she had range. Uh, but you like really went out there and you focused on my Magneto, which is a smart strategy. Yeah, I was and scared of him. You had to spend a <laughs> lot of attacks on Juggy. Oh, he's a beast. Yeah. Viewers, if you get this guy in sealed, he's not a bad piece to play yeah. because he tied up a lot of my force. Yeah. And your Colossus, like he, yeah. I, I couldn't hit him for beans there yeah, for a while. My dice good. got cold in the middle. I was only rolling five. So. Yeah. But this Magneto is good. He's a good piece at a hundred points. Yeah, absolutely. The invincible. Yeah. So it's overall, it was it was a really good game. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for playing. Rob thank has taken well. the lead in this series. Well, it's only what three to. It's two to. Oh, sorry, one. two to one. Yeah. So we got two games left. That's right. Um, and uh, we're only doing a five-game series, so there will be a definitive winner at the end. Yes, there will. And I guess by game four, there could possibly be.
a definitive winner, but a we're winner, still going to play but we don't know. game five anyway. That's right. Well, there we go. So viewers, let us know what you thought of this game in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate that. And you can catch us at all the usual places. These are all of our uh, social media links, email. Um, we have a Twitch that we do live games at. Mm -hmm. um, you can come join our Discord. We're having lots of fun there. There's team builds. There's rules discussions. It's a lot of fun. There's jokes. There's memes. There's, there's memes. There's some, some good chatter and whatnot. Yeah. So uh, come on and jo join us over there. And all these links, of course, are in the video description. You can just copy and paste them into your browser. And we will uh, see you next time. So thanks yep. so much for coming out. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye for now.